If you've ever heard about Pechuha, Pechachka. Pechachka, then congratulations! You're so much smarter than me in presentation skills. You should not watch this video, you should present it. But if you've never ever heard about Pechachka, Pechachka. Pechachka then don't worry. That's why we are here to learn and teach new things. Hello everyone, my name is Lomi and before we start I want to thank every single person that watched my previous video. If you still didn't, you can click here where the link will be in the description box below and this week's shout out goes to this video. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't what are you waiting for? Then you know that last week I was a guest lecturer at the university where I actually study at. And I was having a presentation on... <laughs> presentation. Online, public speaking, storytelling, YouTube and so on. And in the Q&A session I was asked what I think about Pachachka. Whatever. And I didn't know what that was. So I had to really quickly Google it. By the way, Google, check my last video, you will like it. And really quickly read a text on what that was. And based on everything that I read in two seconds, um, I didn't like that. But I'm a very self-conscious nature, smart person. So I decided to give it a second chance. I read more on that. Leave me a thumbs up for second chances. So what I did, I googled Pichachka and surprise, surprise, there is a website pichachka.com and side note, its logo looks very, very like the logo of the social media of my childhood. If you know it, like my video. So from my little research, I realized that first of all, nobody actually knows how to correctly pronounce the name of this technique. Second of all, it's actually more fun than I expected and it's very, very popular. Originally, this idea came from Japan, from two architects who had kind of an exposition with the idea of talk less, show more, and apparently people had only 20 seconds to see and analyze an exponent. So people in 2003 really liked that and thought, maybe we can do that a presentation technique. And also apparently Pichuchka means in Japanese chit chat. Wait. Okay, that didn't help either. The technique behind it is also called 2020, meaning that you as a presenter have 20 slides and you are allowed to spend only 20 seconds per slide. And this is what I didn't like about this technique because it brings so many constraints to you as a presenter, time and resource wise. Moreover, I think that if you base your presentation only on your slide? That's sad. But I didn't give up and I started digging deeper into the knowledge of this technique. And I found out that these slides are not that simple. Actually, they are pictures. So you have 20 pictures that you talk about. And apparently there's also a timer. So after 20 seconds, the slide will automatically change, meaning that you as a presenter have to either be super prepared and really learn your text second per second, or if the slide is changing and you didn't expect that, learn to act as if you wanted that. What is also distinct about this technique is that there are actually many events dedicated to that. Honestly speaking, when preparing for this video, I actually watched a couple of Pichachka presentations and it's somehow fun. Although at the beginning I thought that it's very constraining to put some time limit or slide limit, now after watching a couple of videos I realized that it's a very, very good creativity exercise. It's the same as giving 100 people a piece of blank paper and a couple of scissors and telling them that they can do whatever they want with those two tools. And that was a paradox to me. Somehow when people are given very limited resources, they are getting even more creative. 
By the way, subscribe to my channel for some limitations and creativity and limited creativity and creative limitations. But in a nutshell, chapuchka, chikachka, chapchachkachka, call it however you want, is a very modern way to present. And I really like that our generation or modern generations are going more and more far away from these big chunks of text on a slide to the extreme where there's absolutely no text and it's actually more storytelling than presentation. Although I also saw some examples of business pitches or elevator pitch um, that were done kind of in a chipachka chikachka way. And after doing this little research, I realized finally why I was asked this question. Because apparently I was doing chipachka chikachka chapta chikachka my whole life without knowing it. Although I've never proactively limited my time or attributed some seconds to specific slides, I also like to put some pictures on the slide and then talk to them rather than read from the slide. If you're interested to know more about Pachkachka, Chapkachka, Rachkachkachka, then I will gladly learn more about that and teach you. If you want to know other techniques or anything else, also tell me that in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and the bell button, and see you next Monday. Bye!